Okay, we're here at the Coldwater River Nature Trail System, uh, below the dam. Um, we're gonna, this is a map of the nature trails in this area. There's a short one mile loop, then a two mile, three mile, and five mile loops. So we're gonna take the five mile loop there in red. Um, to walk back a bit this way towards the actual trailhead for those, for the two, three, and five mile loops. Pretty cool morning, about 40 degrees right now. That's pretty nice. This is the actual start of the two, three, and five mile loop nature trails right here. Um, you can see right next to the dam. The trails are marked by these signs, uh, green, or sorry, yellow for the two mile loop, blue for the three mile loop, and five for the red mile loop. This is the start of the trail here. Less than a half a mile into the hike now, we came across this small pond here. It's pretty dry, but it still has some water in it. Uh, going through mostly bottomland forest. Uh, the trail's been pretty flat. All of the trees still have a lot of leaves on them for the 20th of November. Most of this trail has really just been um, paralleling this ditch over here, um, but now we're up on this ridge that's also paralleling the, the drainage ditch. The drainage ditch itself is actually pretty much completely dry. There were a couple puddles in places, but uh, not much else. We are now about 1.3 miles into the hike. Uh, we are now into a section of pine forest. Um, this is where the, the trail split. The five mile loop continues straight in this direction, while the two mile and three mile loops go that way. There's signs indicating which direction they go, and then this is the way we came up, where all three loops are together at that point. The five mile loop just crossed over road uh, 304 there, and we're continuing on in this direction, sort of towards the dam. The dam's straight that way, you can't see it through the trees.
trail opened up into this little clearing here that's been mowed, um, which is actually part of the disc golf course with hole number five right here. Looks like the road continues that direction, but the trail turns to the right. We are 3.1 miles into the hike. We just crossed the road over there, um, came down the trail on the five mile loop. And we've connected with the blue two or three mile loop. Uh, that way goes back towards where we split with the, the five mile loop the first time. And then this is the direction that both of these two trails continue to follow. About 3.7 miles into the hike, we just crossed over this bridge here, which crosses the, this uh, pretty much a swamp, um, cypress trees growing in it, and the trail continues down in this direction. Okay, we walked down this trail here, um, following the stream, and then we ran into this intersection here with the shorter uh, two-mile loop, and then all three trails continue on in this direction, back to the trailhead. So we've returned to the trailhead which is just up in this direction and we've walked down to this little boardwalk I guess uh, looking over the Coldwater River here where it flows out from the dam it continues downstream